everyone peace of the Lord Jesus Christ to all of you in this video actually we will show you how Muslims uh, you know uh, they try to prove their prophet in any way but it's not a problem we will listen and we will make our comment and you will see what is weird and how how funny is the religion of Islam we are not making fun of anyone by the way but funny is funny and the crazy is crazy and if God hey, gave you a brain and you don't want to use it I believe uh, someone is going to call you a fool so let us see what those people are talking about and we will uh, make a little a study together and we will see what Muslims and how Muslims think many people have the misconception that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the founder of the religion of Islam in fact Islam is there since time immemorial it's there since man set foot on the earth and the Holy Quran says in Surah Fatir chapter number 35 verse number 24 it says there is not a nation or a tribe to whom we have not sent a warner or a guide the Quran says in Surah Rad chapter number 13 verse number 7 and to every nation we have sent a warner. My name, the Holy Quran, mentions 25 messengers, my name. For example, Adam, Moses, Jesus, Solomon, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But according to the tradition of a beloved prophet, there were more than 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. Listen to this, guys. There's 124,000 messenger. 124,000 messenger. And the Quran says that Allah He sent to every nation a messenger. Let us see the verse before we continue. This is Surah 16, verse number 36. This is a translation, it's not really accurate, but we will go with it. We, for we assuredly send amongst every people, which in Arabic it's every nation, not every people, a messenger with command to serve Allah. So every nation in this universe, Allah He sent them a messenger and He is a Muslim messenger. And before we continue to make our comment, we will see that those messengers they speak in each nation language, which mean which mean when the God of Islam he said he sent 124,000 messengers and he said I sent to every nation a messenger and he said that's every messenger of those he speak he speak the language of that nation this is mean that we should have 124,000 book of Allah because as you see he gave them commands what is commands commands is a book it's a teaching like the commands of Moses so where are those commands and why they are not written in those languages and how come they never mention in any book anywhere like who is the messengers of for the Chinese who is the messengers for the Indian and by the way I'm not talking about Indian as Indian I'm saying like uh, the red Indian if I talk about the, the country of India today, uh, India have a lot of religion and a lot of languages. I think like 400, 500 languages. So if every language, Allah will send a, a prophet for India alone should have more than four or 500 prophet of Islam. But all, all of us, none of them heard about Islam until the Islamic occupation. If we go to Surah 14 verse number 4, we will see that we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people so all those messengers they speak the language of their own country only because they are messengers for their own people now as we said who are those messengers and where are they how come we never heard of them who is the messenger of Islam for the Japanese Buddha <laughs> You know, those people don't use their brain. It's very clear that this is always a lie because who are they, those messengers? In case you don't know, uh, the Muslims consider Alexander the Great 
Alexander the Great mission in the Quran as a messenger of Allah he was called uh, the man with two horns Zilqarnain they consider him as a messenger for Allah and Muhammad I'm sure if he knew about Hitler he will put his name in his book Alexander the Great because he was a killer you know, he's a he's a war he, he's a war warrior. This who is he? He wanna control. He wanna conquer. He wanna. But in the same time, he was doing you know like uh, a glory to his country, if we can say. But this guy, he have a problem to be a prophet for Islam. He was a gay. Oops. So how they mention his name as a prophet? If we go to Surah 18, verse number 83. You know, we will see that the supposedly the Jewish asking Muhammad about Alexander the Great. Allah is saying to Muhammad, tell them, I will answer you regarding him. And the Jewish, they are saying he is not a prophet. So Muhammad is answering, responding for the Jew, showing them how stupid they are, because Alexander the Great, he's a prophet. If we go to Ibn Kathir, and this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia, as you know, always we, we, you know, we get... Uh, uh, our sources from there so no Muslims can say it's not true you will see Alexander the Great he went uh, 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 to the Kaaba and he did, he did Hajj he did walk around the Kaaba visiting and praying to Allah with Abraham and all of us we knew that Alexander the Great he was not exist in the time of Abraham and all the history prove that Alexander the Great never been in Saudi Arabia Mecca is too far from where he went. Why he wanna go there? You know, his army will die in the desert. He's not crazy. So you will see how 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 the religion of Islam is full of of trash and garbage. So this is what the surah is saying. So Alexander the Great is a prophet. So one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet. Every prophet of those he speak the language of that nation. As you see, we showed you. And each one of them, he was sent to a nation. So we ask, who are the, those prophets? Who is the prophet of China? Who is the prophet of uh, uh, England? Who is the prophet of Germany? Who is the prophet? And you know, let us say before before uh, Muhammad he came, there is no Germany, no, no, etc. Who was the prophet for Europe? Who was the prophet for Japan? Chinese, uh, uh, Korean, uh, uh, you know, uh, Alaskan, uh, Indian. Uh, uh, come on, you know, and one hundred twenty-four thousands. All of them, not even one of them, his book exists. Allah was kicked big time by Satan. Satan each time Allah sent the messenger. Satan kick his butt. One hundred twenty-four thousands. Satan was having victory over the book of Allah. Because if Allah sent 124,000 prophet, and those 124,000, they could not make one person stay as a Muslim. Because as you see, all the books are corrupted. Even the Torah is corrupted according to Islam. Even the, the New Testament is corrupted to, to, to Islam. So what is left? So Allah and His messengers, they did fail. But the only one was good is Muhammad. You see how we can trust a God 124,000 times he sent messengers and Satan was making victory over him. But at the end, Muhammad made victory. This is the funny, stupid things about Islam. You have to take it, you know, and or leave it. This is how Islam, but actually in Islam, you cannot take it or leave it. You have to take it. Otherwise, they put a sword in your or your neck and you have to agree. Maybe now you are living in the West, so they will not do it on you. But you never know. Time will come and they will put their sword on your neck and they will say, you know what, this is how it is. Take it or we will kill you. So anyway, we will continue. So anyway, we will continue with our video. Follow up with me, please. And I hope uh, uh, you will learn more. I will pause this video in YouTube and I will make the longest video is going to be in GodTube. Follow in there is going to be a long one, including this one. And the second one has one video. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. Amen, and see you soon.